Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm doing a two year update on the performance of the Avalon King ceramic coating on my brother's own vehicle. So a 2020 Mazda CX-5. We applied this coating in the spring of 2021. Uh, he actually applied it himself. So it's my brother Andy, by the way, who's helping me film today. So Andy, why don't you say hi to all my viewers? They absolutely love what's it. What's up guys? When uh, we do collabs together. <laughs> So I love having my brother here, as you guys know. So uh, yeah, I showed how easy this is to apply in many videos, but in that specific video, which I'll leave linked in the description, it was my brother Andy who decided to apply this on his vehicle. So I showed him the ropes of applying a DIY coating at home. Uh, he was able to do it on his own. And so the coating promises two plus years of protection. So we're actually 28 months down the road now because we're filming this in September of 2023. Um, so quick, a disclaimer though, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm giving you an update. Um, however, this vehicle was not in the best of conditions. So there are many factors that have a huge effect on the durability of products. One of them being the maintenance. So this vehicle was very poorly maintained. Unfortunately, my brother was in a condo before. Uh, he didn't have any place to personally wash his car and he just recently moved into a brand new home. The roads still aren't finished. Uh, congrats, by the way, Andy, on your new house. Uh, but there's a lot of things, yep, absolutely. There's a lot of things going on right now. And so he just never had the chance to clean it on his own. So in the past two years, two plus years, because it's 28 months now that the um, coating was applied on the vehicle, uh, basically there were two maintenance washes that I remember that we did together. Uh, so one in the autumn and in the fall of 2022, uh, when we applied the uh, Avalon King light spray topper to rejuvenate the coating a bit. Uh, and then in the spring of 2023, uh, we did half the vehicle with Gion wet coat and half the vehicle with the Gion wax. Those are just some light toppers that we showed the performance on. Other than that, uh, I think my brother never washed it himself. Am I right, Andy? Uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. Guys, every time, anyways, he's Pan, the organizer's brother. Uh, not everybody is inclined towards detailing, I understand that, but he promises me now with his new home, once the roads are done, he's gonna take care of his vehicle, so thumbs up to that. Uh, but yeah, he never washed it himself. So for three years, basically since he had the vehicle and two years since we applied the coating, uh, he never washed it himself. Uh, however, he did bring it every other month to the automatic car wash. Am I right on that? That's the one, yep. Okay, so automatic car washes, very high pH level shampoos that can eventually eat through the protection. So of course the protection is there to help protect the clear coat, but still those are heavily alkaline products. And although ceramic coatings have much higher chemical resistance, compared to traditional carnauba waxes or synthetic paint sealants, they still have their limits as well. Uh, obviously, he's been through two Canadian winters, uh, road salts, calcium, a bunch of harsh conditions. Uh, the vehicle wasn't always garage kept. It stays outside in the elements, especially when he's working. So it's been through a lot. It currently has 46,000 kilometers. Is that what you said, Andy? That's correct. 46,000 kilometers, which roughly is 28,600 miles for uh, people in USA. Uh, and so today we're gonna have a look at, we uh, washed the vehicle, so I did a full decon wash. Uh, we used the um, uh, built Hamber auto foam snow foam, so PH13 to remove traffic film, road grime, do a good of that, a better pre-wash to remove that deeper grime. And then we wash the vehicle uh, with a shampoo from CarPro, CarPro D-Scale, slightly acidic to remove any potential minerals that were on there. And I also went ahead and did a full iron decontamination afterwards to make sure that there are no contaminants left, that the paint is squeaky clean, there are no mineral deposits left from water droplets that are washed off and evaporated or anything that can interfere with the coating's performance. So we're gonna have a look at the hydrophobic properties, so the water beating and the water sheeting on flat panels like the hood, on vertical panels as well, and we're gonna give the assessment. So again, uh, by the way, I wanna make sure that you guys fully understand there are many variables that affect durability of a product. So not only maintenance, but the prep before you apply it, the conditions when you're applying, how you're applying the product, are you following the instructions? Of course, maintenance, as I said, so follow the instructions. Ceramic coatings, typically every two to three months, you need to do some sort of performance maintenance wash with a topper. I have a video or a tutorial on how to do a maintenance wash on a coated vehicle on my channel. Please check that out. You're gonna to wanna to use an iron remover every three to four months or as needed, depending on your 
brake dust accumulation, whatever dirt and grime, you have to address those things. Also, regular car washes, weekly washes or every other week, use a pH neutral car shampoo to at least keep the car clean for longer. Don't let water spots dwell for too long. They can start etching through your clear coat. If you add bird droppings and all that kind of stuff, don't let that dwell on the surface either. They can start etching through the clear coat, living acidic deposits in the case of bird poo that can etch through the clear once again, so on and so forth. So regular maintenance is key. And of course, mileage. A vehicle that is garage kept that lives in California will have a much higher chance of reading the maximum, reaching the maximum durability claim of a coating compared to a vehicle that is daily driven in Montreal, Canada with crazy harsh winters and that is kept outside seven days a week, 365 days a year. Big differences between both scenarios, right? So those heavily impact the durability of any protection that you have and that includes ceramic coatings as well. So Avalon King in this case uh, promises two years of protection what I've seen with the majority of the vehicles till this date, in my conditions once again, uh, vehicles that I have prepped is anywhere from 18 to 24 months. So not quite the two years that they promised. Um, however, on vehicles of my own viewers, and you guys have commented on those videos as well, uh, people in more gentle climates or with uh, better upkeep and maintenance on their vehicles have seen three plus years with two layers applied of the coating. So again, durability depends. And by the way, if you have applied this coating, let us know what your experience has been with it. Drop a comment in the comment section. So we're gonna have a look on my brother's vehicle. So again, 28 months since we applied the Avalon King ceramic coating, uh, two layers on that vehicle, everything was properly done. So the curing time of 48 hours without exposure to rain or water, and at least two full weeks without washing the vehicle. Very important that you read the instructions. So let's have a look. The, foot, the vehicle is fully washed, fully deconned, so it's as squeaky clean as it gets. Let's have a look at the hydrophobic properties. So have a close up on the hood. We can tell it's pretty flat, uh, very slow to sheet off. So that to me is a visual indicator that there is no protection left. I mean, I don't see anything perhaps in the corners there. It's starting to slowly sheet off now on the edges, but I mean, yeah, the protection is essentially gone. It had been going well, I'd say for the first 12 to 18 months. Of course, the 18th month wasn't as, as good. Uh, and of course you notice that too, I think Andy, you're the one when you drive in the rain or even when you were bringing it to the car wash, obviously not the ideal conditions. Again, super harsh shampoos. I recommend that you wash your cars yourselves at home with the proper uh, chemicals and soaps and shampoos and all that stuff, guys. But I think Andy, you were starting to also notice, you were telling me a diminishing uh, effect of the hydrophobic water beating and water sheeting Absolutely. after that yeah. 18 month mark. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now we're at 28 months and this I can consider... Practically is, nothing. Yeah, practically nothing, I would agree. Let's have a look on the vertical panel. Sometimes there's a bit left on there. So come on close, let me give that water shot. So fully flooded the panel. We're trying to look for any signs of life and here again on the edges, a bit of sheeting, but this is, yeah, this is not that great. And for the rest, very, very slow sheeting of the water. Um, I'm not seeing any water beating at all. So that's essentially gone. Maybe here on the handle, the water's almost gone. Slight beating, not perfect beads though. But for the rest, this is just one big sheet of flat water. So I think you can see that on the handle. That's not that great either, but at least it's not as bad and for the rest yeah this is still slow sheeting there's still tons of water here so uh what are my thoughts seeing this well there's a reason why at this point uh in my 2023 car detailing products awards video uh, avalon king lost a uh, podium because of the factor of durability so again this is just my outcome my results and my conditions it did not quite reach the two years of expected durability that I would have liked to see. So back in 2020, when I was first introduced to Avalon King, many of you guys wanted me to review the brand, so I did. And I still uh, think what is true is that it's the easiest coating to apply. If you've never applied a true coating in a glass bottle yet, it's still the easiest to apply. I mean, it's a breeze. You don't have to worry about flash times. You don't have to worry about high spots. My brother himself with zero detailing experience or knowledge 
applied it in that video and you remember Andy it was easy right yeah absolutely it absolutely was easy. super easy super easy if you've waxed the car before you can apply the Avalon King ceramic coating no worries good gloss good slickness good protection for as long as it lasts the uh, and the price is good especially if you have the discounted code that I provided my viewers in those videos so the only I think caveat was the real world durability at this point so during its initial lifespan I did durability tests as well chemical uh, resistance and it did quite well but over time, we can tell what the elements do, what time does, what mileage does, and especially what poor maintenance does. This is the worst case scenario. So again, I wouldn't hold them too much to that effect because uh, I know a lot of my viewers, again, leave a comment once again, the experience that you guys had. Many of you said that uh, you live in more gentle climates with proper maintenance. You had seen three plus years because I think the coating now at this point has been available for four years roughly to the public. I was late to the game on that one in 2020 I think it was released around circa 2018 or 2019 so many of you probably have a lot of experience with it at this point uh, so two layers in our conditions here in Montreal Canada I would say 18 months uh, is how it's going to peak to 90 or 85 percent of its performance so still there still doing great and at 24 months it's pretty much dead and obviously at 28 months there's no protection left whatsoever but again only two maintenance washes were done with toppers in those two plus years which is not recommended at all uh, zero maintenance physically with um, uh, good chemicals by my brother unfortunately there's conditions there's life things like that that's I'm fine with that uh, but just know so if you do improper maintenance and I've seen this on many coatings as well uh, this is the, the type of thing that can normally happen so I have a few questions when people say oh the product didn't last as long as the company claimed well again there are many factors guys right so oftentimes when we talk with people we notice that well it was the prep that wasn't correct they didn't follow the instructions when applying it uh, they didn't work in proper conditions they didn't follow the proper curing time so after an hour for example they drove off in the elements it was a crazy monsoon or rain or whatever happened so obviously the coating wasn't curing properly uh, and then the conditions or the maintenance wasn't done as well if you never wash your vehicle if you don't take care of it a coating is not a magical force field by any means it's there to protect the brunt of the elements the UV the bug guts uh, the acid rain the bird droppings the industrial pollution so it's there to protect your clear coat against that but the coating itself will fade and that's eventually what you want as well you want the coating to take the beating and not your clear coat so we can tell underward, uh, underneath that the clear coat is in fantastic condition it's doing well and now it's in need of just another layer of protection what will that, will that be who knows you're gonna stay tuned for that because I'm gonna for sure do something with my brother's vehicle uh, hopefully Avalon King uh, listens or watches this video I want them to uh, kind of is there anything they can improve on and I know they always work hard to come out with new stuff don't forget this is their first try a lot of even the uh, more established brands when it was their first take on ceramic coatings a lot of them were garbage or not that great if I go back five ten years ago when it was their first shot at it it wasn't that great so Avalon King for a first coating still for ease of application second to none uh, gloss slickness all that stuff very good user experience applying it uh, and I think that still stays true and it's a coating that is well below 100 bucks there's many coatings out there that are 100 115 150 300 bucks for the pro grade ones there are some that are very very expensive so you have to take all of that into consideration but again in 2023 now three years later there are some coatings that are better hence why they lost their spots in my 2023 car detailing products awards video so you guys know I like to give you updates I give them as they are as I see them and unfortunately I have to call this coating dead at this point I know it was not user error because I was there to supervise the application I've seen the performance on the other vehicles I also personally applied it to and I would get roughly two years on those vehicles as well um, the maintenance was okay-ish not pan the organizer level perhaps uh, if I had to have the vehicle maybe I could have stretched it to 26 or 36 months who knows um, so that's what it is again give me your durability what has it been for Avalon King also uh, hopefully they're taking down notes what I would like to see for one of their future coatings definitely durability and instead of recommending two coats I would like a product that is a one layer system again in 2023 there are more and more companies now that are coming out with one layer coatings so I want to see a one layer coating ideally three plus years of real real world protection but still keeping that ease of application that Avalon King is known for so do I still recommend them yes for beginners so DIYers who have never applied a ceramic coating before if you're scared of having those more expensive 
tackier to remove or more complicated flash times and have to worry about high spots and you're not quite there yet, want to dive into coatings, the Avalon King uh, Armor Shield 9 is still a fantastic starter coating for DIYers as long as your expectations are through the roof. So if you're expecting 12 plus months of protection, you'll be fine. If you want anything beyond those two years, I would recommend something else. So who knows what else we're going to apply Andy on your vehicle, but at least uh, it did its job for the time it, it did it, but uh, hopefully you're not too disappointed. I think you still enjoyed it. Yes, while I did. It was there. I did. You still enjoyed it. Okay, that's good. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more real world videos uh, about long-term um, things that I've tested before, let me know which products you want to know how they're doing. I'm going to have an update coming soon, uh, depending on when this video launches, if it's not out yet, but a two-year update on the performance of the Adams Advanced Graphene Ceramic Coating on my girlfriend's Nissan Rogue. So stay tuned for that if it's not out already, uh, as I'm saying, as I'm telling you guys. And so uh, that's it. Uh, any information, tools, products, equipment, I'll leave linked in the description. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and we'll see you on the next one.